In a previous print, we used a mill frame to create a straight slot using corner radiuses. We also could have done that same slot using lines and arcs. Either way is an acceptable way of programming a slot. However, in WinMax there's an easier way. There's a block created called slots. This block is specifically for straight and arc shaped slots. When we describe the information necessary to create this slot, we're actually just describing the center of the slot. The first thing it wants to know is what is the shape. This particular one is going to be a line. We're creating the slot at the 3 o'clock position on the picture indicated on the slide. You're then going to use a pattern loop rotate to rotate that feature around the center point to create the other seven necessary slots for this part. It wants to know after the shape what's the width of the part. It's one inch. What is the starting point in X and Y? The, part, the feature lies on the Y axis center line but it's two inches over in X. We put our Z start and our Z bottom, which is the final depth of our finished feature. We enter in the tooling information as it asks as well. Now notice that the center or at the top of this block we have some tabs. We have the start tab, geometry tab, and caps tab. We've just entered the information for the start tab. Each one of these tabs is important to the slot. Next we want to select the geometry tab. On the geometry tab we're putting in the end point of the slot. Again, remember we are programming just the center of the slot and its length. So here we could either put in the x, y, n value of the slot or in the case of what we did here we knew that it was a 5 inch long slot and then it ran from the starting point to the end point in the zero degree direction as it applies to the Herco compass. So we put that information in. The tooling information at the bottom hasn't changed. Then we have the caps. Again, we described the center slot, and in many cases we've des described the point from the center to center of the two radiuses on the end of a slot. But that is controlled by the start cap and end cap pull down menus. The three selections that we have would be line. That means I have programmed a slot five inches long. It's going to block off the end of the slot with straight lines and thereby pretty much look like a frame. The next option I have is to append an arc. The five inch long center line that I have described would have from those endpoints appended arcs on the end of each of the slots. And the final selection would be to include the arcs within that five inch length distance. In this case we're going to append the arc because in the print that we're programming the center to center distance is what is called out on the slot and the arcs are appended after beyond that. In intro 13 we see the slot that we created at the 3 o'clock position and again we want to use a pattern loop rotate to create the other seven remaining slots and rotate that feature around a center point. Give intro 13 a try and as always there's a video labeled intro 13 that will walk you through this step by step including the loop rotate function if necessary.